Ahaba Ushalom. This is Watchman Yashasai bin Yasharal and the rest of the Mishpaka um, of the Spirit of Truth Ministries. Uh, just assembling to fellowship in the truth of Yahuwah Yahusha. Um, the teaching that we're going in today, we're going in on a very vital teaching. You know, we talked about this last time. We talked about how Yahuwah is Yahusha. And I want to expound and explain on that. Right now, this teaching right here is Yahuwah is Yahusha, and we're talking about uh, the right hand of the Father. A lot of times when you hear the English and in the KJV, we get things mixed up because we forget that we are obrit people. We forget that what we're saying um, in the King James, uh, even some books, uh, one book, uh, the the Wisdom or Sirach of Yahusha, talks about uh, losing strength. In one of the apocryphal books, it says that when Hebrew or the obrit is translated into another tongue, it loses the essence or the strength of what the teaching is. So, um... Uh, Today, we're going to be going in on why we know that Yahuwah is Yahusha. This is an assurance, not a hope that he is, but why we know that Yahuwah is Yahusha. So, before we go into that, we're going to start with uh, Abbas Palau, and then we'll go further. Abinu, Shabbat Shamayim, Yat Kadesh Shemka, Tabal Manhutka, Ya Asha Rasunka, Oretz Sherna, Asha Shamayim. Tan la nu hayam la ham hu kenu, o tashmanu, salak matenu, alakim sukim anatnu, asher asmula nu, uau tabila nu la de masa, ke him hasalenu, manhara, kalakan hamalaka, ahagabura, ahatipelet, leo le mim, urukata arona yahwa, alahenu malaka alam, amana. Our Father, who lives in heaven, Kodesh is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and esteem forever. In the name of our names, Yahuwah, who is Yahusha, Amana. So, <clears throat> we believe in this assembly, we believe as a people, as a brotherhood, crazy we believe as a brotherhood uh that yahuwah is yahusha we believe that that is our that is our connection because you know we first have to believe that there's a mashiach because so a lot of things a lot of problems with people is they believe in a the mashiach they just don't believe the mashiach is the father but when we talk about that if we say that we believe that there's another savior then we remove what's said when he says i alone am savior and besides me, there is no other. Why would he send another person as the Savior when he said, I alone am your Savior? So we will be visiting and looking at these, this book in the Aubrey and, and in, the, um, in the English tongue to see what actually these texts are saying. You get what I'm saying? I guess y'all, you got something to say? I thought you was going to go in. All right. So. Um, I made a post, and I'm going to read off this post to lead into what, where we're going. Um, I said, Yahuwah, Yahusha is the saving right hand of our Abinu Yahuwah. If I stretched out my right hand through a door and reached in to save you, my right hand would still be me saving you, right? And that's it. So Yahuwah, Yahu breathes life, stretched forth his saving right hand, Yahusha, which means Yahuwah or Yah is deliverance, a salvation. Opening, a way out, freedom to save his people. Let's go to Tahalim or praises or Psalms 60 and 5. Let's look at that. <coughs> I'm going to pull my safari out too, man. So I'm going to need my book. We're going to Tahalim or Psalms 60 and 5. And we're going to look at these passages. Now, now these are from uh, Malek Daoud, who they already call a Mashiach, right? They already call him a Mashiach. That's what they say. You know, some people say they're waiting on Mashiach uh, Daoud as King Daoud as the Mashiach. Some people say they're not even waiting for just a normal Savior. They believe it's King David. 
Absolutely. Yeah, that's a lot of... T- Man, the Hebrew community got a <laughs> lot of folly in, as far as teaching goes. Never heard yeah. I never heard that. Uh, you can confirm that, right? Uh-huh. They're waiting on King David as the Savior. And I believe that's why Kafar, or when he spoke among the people in Acts 2, he says, well, we know it's not Malek Daoud because his grave is with us to this day. Yeah. He pointed out that he was a a, a, a a mortal man. He wasn't eternal because they believe because it says that uh, he promised Malek Daoud that his kingdom would be forever, yeah. that it's going to be him to come. But what they don't understand, the house of Daoud brought forth the Mashiach. Okay. So let's look at this. Man, man, man. Let's start at uh, 60 and 1. I like to start at the first of the verse. And let's look at what's being said. This is why, and, and I'm glad you, you said, you know, oh, really, because this is the thing. There's so many different doctrines out there. And a lot of them I learned from Jews. For the people that say, we, we say that not the people, the Ashkenazi, Khazari Jews, a lot of the belief system of the Hebrew community bleeds in from them. It's not them doing their own research. They're just taking what the Jews are saying and saying, hey, well, this is what we believe, too. They're not looking at the Albert for themselves. So let's look at this. <clears throat> oh, Elohim, you have cast us off. That's divorcement. That's divorcement or being cast off from being for being wicked. That's happened multiple times. You have been you have scattered us. You have been displeased. Oh, turn yourself to us again. You have made the earth to tremble. You have broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shakes. You have showed your people hard things, and you have made us to drink wine of astonishment. You have given a banner to them that fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Salah. That your beloved may be delivered. Who is his beloved? Yasharal. Save us with your right hand and hear me. Look at that. Allahim has spoken in his Kadashness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkot. Gilad is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Yehuda is my Torah giver, a law giver. <clears throat> That's why we hear Yahushua say that salvation is of the Yahudim. That's why we hear... But uh, Apostle or uh, uh, Aki Shaol say, he actually says that the Torah was given unto them. Why did he say them? Because they were Yehuda and he was Benjamin. He was talking about the tribe of Yehuda. So Moab is my wash pot. Over Adum or Edom, I will cast out my shoe. We talked about that before. That's a covenant being broken to throw a shoe at someone in the Eastern understanding. Palestine, triumph because triumph you because of me who will bring me into a strong city who will lead me into Adum or Edom will you not O Allahim which has cast us off and you O Allahim which do not go out with our armies give us help from trouble for vain is the help of man vain is the help of man through Allahim we shall do valiantly for he it is that treads down our enemies now, so from the beginning, <coughs> it is understood that when Yahshua is in trouble, who do they go for help to? Yahuwah. And even Malak Daoud says, stretch forth your right hand and deliver us. So salvation is of Yahuwah. We're going to look at that. We've talked about that before, that Yeshua Yahu um, 42 and 8 says, I alone am Savior. Right here, Malak Daoud saying, we are cast off. Is that not divorcement? Is that not divorcement? If you are cast off, you are cut off from your Ash, your man, your husband. Who is the husband of Yasharal? Say it loud. Yahuwah. Huh? Yeah. I'm Yasharal and I'm proud. <laughs> oh, you love that doing it. Get back. We ready. But what we're saying is if, if he is our husband, we see that even in Corinthians. That it brings that he is a, that 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 you are supposed to be what a spouse to one wife. Right. It says that a, a, a chaste virgin to one husband. Mm-hmm. Now, if he's a cha- if we're supposed to be chaste virgin to one husband, <clears throat> we're gonna look at that too. If he comes back to get his people, who is coming back? Would you, if you want your wife back, will you send your son to build a relationship with your wife? That's breaking Torah. That's breaking Torah. 
You can no son can't marry your wife. Your son cannot marry your wife. Yeah. But if you coming for your own woman, I'm coming every movie we done seen where they where are you going? I'm going to get my woman. Huh? Wow. See, I didn't know that, man. See, one rule. One rule. You can't get around it. Man, hallelujah. No you can't get around There's it. No so way if, the son can come and marry his father. Right. There is no Torah for that. So in order to bring back the houses or divorced wife, you must do it yourself. And you must do it. Watch this. Torah says that once the man dies, huh? Once the man dies, she is free. So he, he had to die to become new. Firstborn of them that slept to bring us back to himself. Boy, boy, let's look at this. Man. We're going to look at these scriptures. <clears throat> We're gonna look at this book. Let, let's go. So I'm going, I'm just on the saving right hand right now. The saving right hand. Before I go into that, let me go into the obrit. Um, right hand in the obrit. It's awesome because the Yah is in it too. Yah men. It's actually 83225. It means right hand from the root word Yaman, which is 83231. So it's literally right hand. It's his right hand. So we take when it says sit at the H3225 is Yamin. Right hand from the root word of H3231 Yaman. That's the Aubrey. So we're looking at Yamin or Yaman. So when we see sit at the right hand till I make your enemies the footstool. He is the right hand. He's just saying, come back to yourself. That's what we don't understand because the Aubrey and the King James is so different. Let's look at this. Now, I'm going to show you. Now, this is coming out of the mouth of what he called. It says, and Malek Daoud, being a prophet, prophesied these things about Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Right here, you see him cast off. Now, I'm going to read uh, 60 and 5 one more time. That your beloved, your Yadid, may be Yasha. Yasha is the word for delivered. Mm -hmm. Yahuwah, Yasha becomes Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Save with your right hand and hear me. So let's do this. Let's do it in the Aubrey. This is what it says. Let's go to Tahalim Tah uh, 20. Same book, Psalms 20 and 1. Man, we finna look at this thing. Because if we look at the book, if we go by the book, then it shouldn't be any argument. And, and, and that means Malik Daoud would have known, uh, known Yahusha just like we know Yahusha. Mm -hmm. These are clouds of witness. Matter of fact, he said, these are they which testify of me. Meaning they testified of him. They already knew him. Yeah. We're going to go to Masha talking about Yahusha. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's look at this. Tahalim 20 and 1. Yahuwah, hear you in the day of trouble. He keeps talking about trouble and a savior. What is the difference of what was going on at the time of King Herod? It was trouble and needed a savior. Mm -hmm. This is the this is always the plight of a lawless Yasharal, mm -hmm. which is divorce. Hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the Allahim of Yaakov defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice, Salah. Grant you according to your own heart and fulfill all your counsel. We will rejoice in your Yahusha. Oh, that's a good translation. We shall rejoice in your Yahusha. And in the name of our Allahim, we will set up our banners, Yahuwah. Fulfill all your palal or petitions. Know now that I, Yahweh, saves his anointed. Mm -hmm. So this Mashiach, we, we said Daud was a Mashiach while he was on earth. He know now that he saves not even them, just the Mashiach. He saves his own Mashiach. Daud knew that he wasn't the savior. Right. Mm -hmm. Boy, boy, boy. Let's, let's look at this. He will hear him from his Kadash Shemaim or Holy heaven, 
uh, it says in the King James, with the saving strength of his right hand. There we go again. Some trust in chariot and some trust in susut or horses. <laughs> but we will remember the name of Yahuwah, Alahenu, our mighty one, our power. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Here's the part I want to focus on. Save Yahuwah. Let the king hear us when we call. Let's look at this in the Aubrey. Just this part right here. Uh, 20 and 9. This is Aubrey. Hushaya, Yahuwah. Hamalek, Ya'ananu. Bayum, Karanu. Hushaya is just like the word Hushana. Save us. But why they use Hushaya? That's like when, when people say that his name is Yeshaya. It's not Yeshaya because it's from Yesha. But if I'm telling you to save our people, I would say Hushaya. Save us or save our people. Just like Hushana. Hushana. They translate it to what? Hosanna. So, so Shah is right there. It's like Yesha. That means salvation or to open. Yahuwah. The king, Hamalek, Ya'ana Nu. Ya'ana Nu. Bayum Karanu. So it says, the king, Yah, hears us. Ananu means hears us. The king, Yah, hears us. Bayum is in the day or in day of this. Karanu, when we call him. Kara means to call. Yakra means, and he called. Karanu means call. So, what he's saying in the opera is, save us. The king alone hears us in the day that we call. Now, I'm prophesying what he's prophesying. The coming of the Mashiach. Because he's asking him to save him at being a prophet. That's why we say kumbaya. Kumbaya means rise in Yahweh. Please help us. Save us. So throughout all these right hands, he's mentioning the only right hand he's prophesying to come is the right hand of Yahuwah. Man, are we about to get to, oh, about to, get to the, um, the demonstration. I'm excited. So let's look at uh, Tahalim on Psalms 44 and 1. <clears throat> And this is not a stretch. This is just an explaining of what the right hand was. There was a saving right hand that continued to be mentioned. So if he knew he had a saving right hand, if I stretch forth my hand to save you, it's me saving you. It ain't nobody else. Uh, but that also goes to uh, all the teaching. That also goes to all the teaching and explanation in the renewed uh, covenant about um, the body of Yahshua. Right. One body. See there? Members. It's still the same body. Come on. The Shia being the head, and the, the head and the body are still one. That's right. It's all the same thing. So the same, it's the same, uh, it's the same principle with the right hand. And that's what Shaul is speaking of. I'm gonna show you that scripture uh when we get there. That's what he was speaking of when he said that I espouse you to one husband. He's talking about the entire body. Right. The body is is espoused. Why? Because it's one of them. It ain't no trinity. Right. So we'll say there's no trinity real fast. Oh, Trinity's pagan. But then we believe it's two. All we did was knock one off. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world are we doing? A double. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Trinity pagan, but there's, there's two of them. Yeah. Right. What? Uh, it's got to be one. Shema, Yasharal, Yahweh, Alahenu, Yahweh, Ahad. Yeah. Right. He is one. Here in God, O Yasharal, Yahweh, your Alahim, your power is one. If he said that, he cannot be three. He cannot be two. He only has to be one. Because if he's more than that, he's a liar. And we should close up the whole book. And we know he can't lie. Go ahead, baby. I was going to say, and that's where you get Aubrey, our Hebrews, dropping off from the belief in the new or the renewed covenant because they start to read and they start to see throughout that he is one. Right. And because they get confused and they've been hearing that he's two and it's him and his son he can't Come. be both Come. so then they start dropping off and they start saying wait a minute this can't be possible and and then that's i'm glad you brought that up that's when they come into a fabrication of the christianity relief made up jc they did they made up jc but they didn't make up yahushua because right. yahushua is yahuwah so then they begin that what you said is so much confusion that they be saying man all the whole book is false 
<laughs> we don't want none of that. And then they begin to go backwards. And and that, because, watch this, if any man have not the Mashiach's Ruach, mm -hmm. he is none of his. Right. So once he, they reject the Mashiach, they begin to reject Yahuwah because they really rejected him. Right. And they fall back and say the whole book false. Yeah. I'm commit now. Yeah. No tell. <laughs> I say no tell. <laughs> like the nope. Or even worse than that, they say the whole book's false and still claim Yah. Man, yeah. boy, boy. That's, what That's even worse. Say the whole book is false, but still claim y'all. And we're going to address all that pretty soon. That's what that guy was doing. Somebody had, um, <coughs> had said that they were watching this three-hour whatever video, and the guy was saying that um, that, the machine, that the whole New Testament is false. We watched a piece of it. Why? Right. Because we're going to research. And so we watched a piece of it. And when you're watching a piece of it, he makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So at any rate, in the research and whatever, um, Yashan looks and he says, wait a minute. This guy got teaching saying that Moses ain't real. <laughs> the guy starts saying Moses not real, right. Abraham Come. not real, Daoud not real. He pretty much just said ain't nothing real. So he first started off, and then people are saying, okay, he was right on the on the Brit Hada Shah, right. on the Messiah. On but you're off on his part. Well... <laughs> He gonna either be off or he gonna be on. You can't, right. you can't pick and choose because he can't be right on on point exactly for three hours on the Mashiach not real and then be off on Moses and not real because that same information and that same <laughs> God that led him to say that yeah. first thing also led him to say that Moses is right. why uh, If you not believe not Moses, uh -huh. yeah. then you don't believe me. Book, exactly. Book, sir. Mm -hmm. Huh? Book, sir. How can you say you hear Moses? And won't hear me. Yeah. Why did he say that? Because Masha knew him. Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Yeah. You're not, not even 50 years old. And you say you know Abraham before Abraham was a Hayah. Come on now. I am. See there? <laughs> so he was all, they always say he didn't say he was the savior. He always said he was the savior. Yeah. Matter of fact, he says, he lifts up his head and he cries out and he says, oh, Jerusalem, <laughs> Jerusalem, how I would love to pull you unto myself like a hen does its chicks to save you. But you have rejected me. If you love me, keep my commandments. All he spoke was Masha's words. So what commandments was he speaking? Man, let's let's look at this, man. We finna kill all this today. Tahalim, Psalms 44 and uh, 1 through 8. That's what we finna read. And Khan, uh, that's, that's why the Yahudim wanted to stone him. Because he said he was Yahweh. That's the reason why he made himself equal with Yah. Equal is the same. Yeah, that's what it means. That's simple phonics. Right. If I pour you something out and you pour me something, and, hey, that's not equal. That's not the same. I'm getting more Sleep. equal. <laughs> no, I mean, we say this. So. <laughs> now, check this out. <coughs> Let's look at that. We have heard with our ears, O Elohim. Our fathers have told us the work that you did in their days, in their times of old. So this is what we call in the Old Testament. The father, think about how many years it has been since Hanuk and Nua and all them walked the earth. He's testifying of what they said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't act like we so so modern that we don't even see that even in their times they had witness of Yahuwah becoming the Savior, Yahusha. So watch this. How did you how you did drive out the heathen with your hand and planted them? How you did afflict the people and cast them out? For they got not hold the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. Not their own arm, but, <laughs> but your right hand. <laughs> yeah. Yamin, yeah. your right hand, your arm, the light. Oh. Who says he's the light? <laughs> In the beginning. Yeah. For Yahuhanan was not that light. Uh -huh. Well, we what a Hammond B3 argument. We've been to get it in. Y'all call us Christians anyway. Let's go. I like to bring my joint. I'll bring my joint this He says the light of thy countenance. Of thy countenance. The light of your countenance came to us. Is you. Is you. The light, boy, let's go. Of your countenance, because you had favor unto them. There's only one light. So if Yahusha is the light we believe of in the Berit Hadashah, he speaks of this light. And then he says, your Torah is light mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unto my feet. 
So the Torah, the word became flesh. Oh. The right hand of power became flesh. Equal. Equal with Yahuwah. Man, y'all ain't finna wrestle out of this one. This is a big arm. You can't get out of this one. Let's go. <laughs> Through you, we will push down our enemies. Through your name, we Wait will tread. Skip oh, I'm sorry. Salak, you're telling me. You are my king, O Allahim. Now, watch this. If he is king of the Yahudim when he's on that tree, he, you can't have two kings at the same time. I'm sorry. Because Shaul lost his position and Malek Daoud became king. Right. You cannot do that. Because two people can't have the same authority at the same time. You got one of them in authority. So with that being said, that if Yahusha was the king of the Yahudim, that removes Yahuwah from being king. Unless. Unless they the same person. I tell people that work, they think I'm stupid. They be like, they be like, they be like, man, you like Batman? I just tell me. I said, you like Batman? I said, do you ever see me and Bruce Wayne at the same time? <laughs> huh? They be like, oh. <laughs> you can't see him at the same time. <laughs> right, man, that's just foolish. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just stupid. I'm a nerd. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, you can't have two kings ruling, and he, if he is king of the Yahudim, and it's established that he is king of the Yahudim, they knew who he was. Out of jealousy, they did that to him. So, as king, Torah, bring me back to that. You are my king, O Allahim. Command deliverances, that's salvations, that's saving, ways out for Yaakov. Through you, we will push down our enemies. Through your name, we will tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow. As a Mashiach, Daoud, he wouldn't even trust in his own bow. Boy, boy, boy. Look at this. Neither shall my sword save me, but you have saved us from our enemies. And have put them to shame that hated us. In Allahim we boast all the day long. And praise your name forever. Salah. Huh? If he's getting all this esteem, why would he piece it up and share it? Why, and why would, okay, it says here. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. Mm -hmm. And then up here it says. Um, that thou art my king, O Yahuwah, command deliverances. Right. Yaakov. But then it says, through thee we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under that rise up against us. Right. You got all this going on right here. And then you fast forward to when Yahusha called um, the 12. Come on. Was one of the first things they asked him. Will you at this time restore us? That's right. They That's were, right. They, they, all this they understood. They were waiting they for the restoration. They were coming to do something. So for who? Yahuwah doing this. See, and that's why I watched this. When he sent him out, uh, Andre, the brother of, of, of Kapa, he said, we have found him, the Mashiach. The one Masha spoke of. See there? Yeah. Ain't that book? The yeah. one Masha spoke of. Yeah. Now, wait a second. If Yahusha ain't known, how did Masha speak of him? Right. Man, bro, now, let, let's right. go. Let, we, we finna go in this thing. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. Tahalim, Psalms 108. Why am I reading Malik Daoud? Because he's the one that really goes in on this saving right hand. That's why you got to understand when you see something in the Bari Hadashah, when it says, he says, sit on the right hand and the right hand of my father. This is the understanding that they knew. They knew why it said the right hand. They just knew the right hand was going back. I'm ascending back to my father. Man, come on, bro. Man, this is right. Let's, let's go. I'm trying to calm down because I'm ready for the show to start. <laughs> uh, 108 and 1 This is Tahalim Or Psalms 108 and 1 Let's look at this man O Allahim My heart is fixed I will sing and give praise Even with my esteem Awake psaltery and heart I myself Will awake early And praise you O Yahweh Among the people I will sing your praises unto you Among the nations and your mercy is great above the Shemayim. And your truth, your truth reaches into the clouds. Be exalted, O Allahim, above the Shemayim. And your esteem above all Haaretz, or the earth. That your beloved may be delivered. Who is his beloved, again, please, people? Yasharal is his beloved. Not just Daoud by himself. <laughs> 
save with your right hand and answer me. Yasha with your right hand. Yasha, Yamin. That's what he said. And answer me. Allah has spoken in his Kadashis. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem. I will meet out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Yahuda is my Torah giver. We've seen that before. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the same thing? Mm -hmm. As my lawgiver. Moab is my watch pot. Over Edom, I will cast out my shoe. Over Palestine, I will triumph. Who will bring me into a strong city? Who will lead me into a doom? Will you not, Allahim, that cast us off? And will you not, O Allahim, go forth with our host? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. So if Yahushua was just a man, his help would have been vain. Some people teach that he was just, because of his righteousness, he made that man deified. Mm. Wait, that ain't book. That ain't book. You're making up stuff. What about Hanak, David, See there? Come on. Through Allahim we shall do valiantly, for it is he that treads down our enemies. Now, let's go to some, some real heat, and then we're going to do the puppet show. And, and man, it's going to be good. <laughs> man, I, I'm excited. Those who are watching, you finna see a puppet show. And I ain't talking about the government and voting. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go to Shamu. <laughs> real, 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 real snap, real snap, real snap. Real. Little, little Mayweather, little haymaker. <laughs> let's look. Let's go to Shamu. <laughs> let's go to Shamu or Exodus 15. Now watch this. This was Malek Daoud. But he said Moses knew him, right? Okay, man, let's go. Let's go to Shemu or Exodus 15. Man, look at this. This is the song of the children of Yasharal yeah. after they are delivered from Misraim yes, or the house of bondage. Listen to this song, man. We need a track for this. Listen to the song. Listen to the song. Man. Then sang Masha and the children of Yasharal uh, this song unto who? Yahuwah. Unto Yahuwah. And spoke saying, I will sing unto Yahuwah. For he has triumphed honorably. The horse, that's that Seuss again. That's why he can't be Jesus. Behold the horse. It's a vain thing for safety. The horse and his rider has he thrown into the sea. Yah is my strength and my song. He has become my Yahusha. Huh? He has become my Yahusha. Then they knew him. He is my all, and I will prepare him a habitation. And my father's Elohim, I will exalt him. Now watch this. Even when you say Yeshua, now this is what uh, Jews run with. Even when you say Yahshua, Yahshua is a different form of Yasha. Yasha means to deliver, to save, to open in the object. This is what happens when you say Yeshua, which is not there. That is Yahushua. That is a name. Why well, I know that? Because when it says salvation, which is in the object Yeshua, this is why Yeshua cannot be his name. That's why we say it can't be his name, because this is what Yeshua means. Yasha added in fullness. You have Yasha, and then the Wa means to add or a tent peg to nail to. And the A-H at the end, the hey at the end, ah, means salvation has been added in fullness. See that? That's why when they talk about deliverance and salvation, they really singing it Why now, coming out of Misraim. He has fully gave them freedom. But that Yeshua is not there. Yahusha is there. And they sing Yeshua later on. That's when you see deliverance and freedom. But he says Yahuwah is Yahusha. What does that mean? Yahuwah alone is my salvation. Man, come on, man. Don't say you Aubrey and you won't look at that Aubrey word, man. I'm, I'm just being honest. Yeah. Oh, all right, that's a whole nother teaching. Let's go. I'll prepare him a habitation. That's the little, little tabernacles. My father's Allahim and I will exalt him. Yahuwah is a man of war. Mm. We also see that in Yes, Yahoo 42 and 13, that Yahuwah will become a mighty man and a man of war coming to the earth in a new thing. Yahuwah is his name. But then, and then they try to throw in uh, <coughs> that Yahuwah is not a man, 
That he should lie. Right. He's not a man that he should lie. Right. They take it out of context. <laughs> Who was he telling that to? He right. was telling that to Balim, trying to get him to curse his people. Right. So they say, or oh, the son of man, that he should repent. Right. So they say, well, he can't be the son of man. Right. You took that out of context. Right. Because he's saying he's not a man that he should lie. Because watch this. It says he is a man of war. A warrior. Man, come on. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's Gabar. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts. Has he cast into the sea? His chosen captives are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths are covered with them. They sank into the bottom as stone. As a stone. Watch this. Six. Your right hand. Your right hand, your Yamin, your Yaman, your right hand, O Yahweh, has become honorable in power. Wait a second. Remember, it said there was a Malachim going before them at all times. Mm -hmm. Listen to him. For in him is my name, and he will not pardon your transgressions. They are singing about the right hand because they knew the right hand. Boy, boy, boy. Okay. I'm finna, we finna go here, man. I'm, we finna look into some scriptures. Oh, I'm trying not to get too excited. I got to get this out. Your right hand, he says it again, O Yahweh, has danced in pieces the enemy. Now, remember when he said he was sending a destroyer through the cities to take out the firstborn. Huh? There was a right hand. It says Yahweh came through the city. See that? So watch what we, watch what we doing right here. Watch this. And the in greatness of your excellency has you overthrown them that rose up against you. You sent forth your wrath, which consumed them as stubble. With the blast of your nostrils, the waters were gathered together, and the flood still upright in the heat, and the depths was congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake you, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. You blew with your ru or ruah. The sea covered them, and they sank as lead in many waters. Who is like unto you, O Yahweh, among the Alahim? Who is like you, glorious? Uh, ah, I hate saying that. <laughs> Honorable in kadoshness, fearful in praises and doing wonders. Your strength out of your right hand, your strength out of your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You see how powerful this right hand is? Man, come on, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let me find it. Okay. You in your mercy have left forth the people which you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength and your Kadesh habitation. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold of the inhabitants of Palestine. The dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab trembling. Remember, we heard all these people named in Dauds. Remember, we read it. He repeated it twice. To take hold on them, all the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By greatness of your arm, they shall be as still as a stone till you pass, till your people pass over, O Yahweh. Till your people pass over, which you have purchased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did he not buy us again with his own blood? Mm -hmm. He bought them. He purchased them. Man, you shall bring them in. And plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Yahweh, that you have made for you to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Adonai, which your hands have established. Yahweh shall reign forever and ever. For the horse of the Pharaoh went in with his chariots, and the horsemen into the sea. Yahweh brought again out the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Yasharal went on dry land in the midst of the sea. And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aharon took a, a timbrel in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbrels and dances. And Miriam answered and saying, sing ye to Yahweh for his triumph is honorably and horse and his rider has he thrown into the sea. So Masha brought all Yasharal from the Red Sea and they went out of the, into the wilderness of Shur and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. But they are rejoicing about the right hand. Look how many times you hear his arm, his right hand. Now, let's give you the example. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all supposed to be like the shows. Yeah! Y'all ain't like Mr. Rod Neighborhood, man. man. Now, this is the example we're going to give you. 
This is what the understanding was of the coming. Come on, Shaw. <laughs> get an image, Mark. Mark ready for a This is this is understanding. I'm gonna get out the way. I'm gonna get out the way real quick. Just keep watching. Mark got that music going. All right, all right. Mark, uh, set it off. You, you go. go ahead. That you waiting on the machine? Go ahead. We are still waiting on the machine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why well, yours are Japanese? Your hands moving for you. <laughs> we're we're in bondage. Oh yeah, we're still divorced. We've been in captivity for years. When is the Mashiach yeah, coming? Years. Y'all don't know. We don't see none of Mashiach. Yeah, y'all gotta raise it up. Go ahead, go ahead, keep doing. When is the Mashiach coming? It's, 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 okay. Maybe you'll come. Yahuwah, deliver us. <laughs> It is I, the saving right hand of Yahweh. The saving right hand. I have come to save you, the people. <laughs> if, if I have come to save you, if you believe on me, you shall live eternally. You believe? I believe. You believe? I believe. You believe? I believe. He that believes on me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And <laughs> go ahead now. <laughs> go ahead. You're so silly. You got me laughing. I can't get my point out. Get on, man. All right. Now <laughs> we <laughs> we kept it simple for you, real quick. <laughs> they we kept it simple for you, real quick. Even though that was my right hand, that was the puppet. That was the the vessel used to come. To a group of puppets. So it's like this. Let's say instead of men, you had puppets. Somebody put wow. Instead of men, you had puppets. And in saving the puppets that I created, because we all say we are in the potter's hand. We are molded as clay, as puppets. We are animated by his rule. The same way we animate puppets. It's, it's animation. So all these puppets are looking for their creator. They're one that married them. Not only created them, but married them. Mm -hmm. So they are awaiting that. So he knows that if they look up on him, they shall die in their crimes. Mm -hmm. They are not Kadash enough. We know Masha looked at him face to face, but Masha was Kadash to him. Huh? We know Yaakov looked at him face to face, but at the time he did, he was Kadash. So what did he have to make? He had to make himself prepare for me a body that looks like my puppets, that looks like the people I'm coming to save so that they await this. They already know I'm coming, but they will see me in a form that they can relate to. And that form that they can understand. <laughs> Let me get the sock back. You know, you know recruit his sock back. <laughs> But they, this is the understanding. So he comes in the image of crime-filled flesh. Mm -hmm. It is his root. We say Yahweh is spirit all day long. But what he did was inhabit a vessel to be able to teach them how to pray. You get what I'm saying? Throw me one of them socks back, too. All right? Let me get the Torah blue. Let me get that. All right. Let me show you something real quick. Go ahead, Art. Uh -oh. I'm not going to get into the um, video. I just want to put my hand in the video because I just thought about this while, while you had us doing this. Go ahead. Let's do this. All right, so, so what, what you were talking about mm -hmm. is this is my right hand, right? Right. And this is the puppet you were talking about. Mm -hmm. This puppet is me. Right. Because when you were talking about how the Ruach gives animation, mm -hmm. the only thing that this puppet can be can animate this puppet is whatever's coming out of me. Come on, Art. So it's what's Come coming on. out of me that makes this puppet do what it does and say what it says. So See, it's, you it's, didn't expect the Kadash puppet it's, show. It's the same you didn't. It's the same principle. It's the same principle. It's the same principle. So that's why when he came, he had to teach them how to pray to himself. Mm -hmm. Huh? Teach us how to pray. Abinu. Why he didn't say Yahuwah? He was given another relationship. I've divorced you. I'm bringing you back as my Yaladim, my children. You were, you left out as the children. So, Abinu, Shabbat Shamaim, our father, 
who is in the heavens. He's teaching them how to pray to himself. Watch this. He would send them out. And in the fourth watch, it said he went to pray. Why did he pray? Why did he pray to himself? That's what people say. I can't understand why he prayed to himself. Because as long as I'm in this vessel, as long as I'm in this being, I have to talk to myself because even this vessel that I'm in must learn obedience. Mm -hmm. right. All right. That's book. Is that not book? book? That vessel that he used must have to come into subjection. That's why when they tried to make him king, he ran. Boy, let me throw this. He ran. <laughs> he fled away from kingship because he said he knew what was in what? He knew what was in the vessel he was in. Yeah. He knew that if he made himself a king on earth, he wouldn't do the will to establish a kingdom for his people. He is preparing a place for his bride. Mm -hmm. And he has to not only think of himself. Wait. He has to not only think of himself. He has to think of his bride. So if I become a king on the earth now, I have left the bride out of divorce with no savior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't understand the mind of Yahweh. You don't understand that we took it and then we made it simple as puppets. But that's his mind. We, to him, we're, and that flesh, that flesh is just like Zamir Yahoo socks. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> Told her I'm waiting to talk. Wait a minute, I don't even think I'm waiting to talk. I'm waiting to talk. I'm waiting to talk. I got excited. I got excited. I got excited. That's my song. That's a good song. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the good song. Yeah, he had the good song. Yeah. Old Pinky. That's my old Pinky over there. Man, we rejoicing in the Shabbat. But in real talk, in real life, just like that sock. Watch this. If if that sock gets damaged or something, he gonna he gonna trash them socks. I asked out for the sock. He brought his socks to us. But it's like this with Yahweh. To us, to him, we are what? Filthy rags. Filthy rags. We are a sock. It is us that has puffed ourselves up to think we something greater. It's us that think we walk around here thinking we somebody. But when you walk in wickedness, you ain't nothing but a raggedy sock to Yahweh. Wow. Filthy rags. Even worse, mm. you are menstrual socks. Wow. Because that filthy rag is used to get the menstruation off of them. That's what that aubrey is. You are a menstrual sock. You understand that? So how you act like you something great when he saw you? Watch this. He saw you worthy enough to inhabit one of those filthy socks. Not, not saying your socks filthy, Ock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was just an example. We use Ock good socks yeah, good. To, to make the sample for some filthy socks. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to make that clear. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see Ock? Man, I wonder what kind of socks he got on today. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, he saw us as that filthy vessels. And he said, you know what? I'm going to come in the image of a filthy vessel, a vessel that I made, that I repented making at the time of Noah. If I repented making man in six, he waited to all this time to find the appointed time and place in time, because he's eternal, to come as a filthy vessel to bring us back. So those people that were talking, those puppets that saying, where's the Mashiach? We are waiting. He's hearing their cry. He ain't hearing every wicked man's cry. He's looking for those that seek in repentance. Mm -hmm. Huh? He who deserves to be served became a servant mm -hmm. and gave his life as a ransom for many. Go ahead, Ah. Okay, We're going to so, get in this book. So, later on, mm -hmm. later on, can, can we do some type of a teaching that talks about what you just said here? Because this, Go is, ahead. this is what we miss. This is what we miss. I know we miss it all through Christianity. Come on. All right. Even when, even back with Abraham, Yahuwah chose Abraham because Abraham was seeking him. Right. He, right. he didn't choose Abraham just out the blue. Right. Right. With what, when we learn that from in church, let's look at that Genesis that, and we come up with, we just think he chose him out the blue. Mm -hmm. When we go to those books they removed, we see that Abraham was seeking him. Come. And then he chose him. Come. Furthermore, Yahanan, um, the immerser, mm -hmm. when he came. He came preaching repentance. Right. Right. Make straight Make the straight way of Yahuwah. So that means that all the stuff we, we learned go. in church yeah. about 
uh, you catch a fish before you clean it. Mm -mm. That stuff is not scriptural. It's not because according to to what Man, come according on. to what how your honey was sent. Come on. According to what the book <coughs> said, you had the, you, the 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 prerequisite to receiving the Mashiach come. Was already repentance. Come on. Exactly. Come the on. The people that were following the people that believed on the Mashiach had already started following John right. come before on. he even got there. Right. That's right. They had already turned to Torah before the Mashiach got there. Right. Turning to Torah set them up That's to right. be able to receive the Mashiach. Come on, man. Come but on. We've been taught our whole life. That um, just, just come as you are. Come on. Um, w uh, walk up in the building with your with your dog on um mini skirt on, and and your and your, and your gold chains and your and your chest all out, mm -hmm. and and you cool you receive. But according to the what the book says, come on. they were already seeking him. That's right. And they had turned to repentance according to the word of the prophet. That's right. Yohanan, then when the Messiah came, that readied them. Make ready the way That's for the right. Messiah, so that readied them to receive. To pair them to be made white. And going from filthy rags into being made white. Now, this is what I want you to look at. Go ahead, Steph. We were just talking about that on the phone yesterday with someone. That, Man, but that, that most people <laughs> who actually are in the Aubrey walk for real, because you have those people just like you have fake church people, you have fake Aubrey people. But those who are actually being led by his Ruach and who are actually doing the will of Yahuwah, had, uh, when they were in Christianity, they might not have had it right, but they were searching right. for real, for real, for right. Yahuwah. Right, and so right. when they got over here, this is the way he's calling those who are actually searching. And you notice a lot if of times... If you seek when, me, you shall find me. A lot of times when we try to talk to people who are who are living any kind of way and you try to tell them about the book, they ain't trying to hear it anyway, no right. type of way. Why? Come. Because they're not trying to live it in the first place. Right. They're not even trying to find the way. Come. But when you find somebody who was actually looking and they want to live right, and even if they're, st if they're still in Christianity and they're still seeking and serving JC, when you and they when they actually trying to find that narrow path, when you talk to them, it's easier to get to them. Right. Why? Because they are tired and they want to know the they want to know the righteous way. And that's Man. even for those who are in the street, they still seeking <clears throat> to find the righteous way, and that's how they end up in the Aubrey Walk for real. That's right. Mm -hmm. So let's go look at this real quick. <clears throat> we touched on this last time, but I want to touch on it this way because we're gonna go, and that's that's a two word stuff. So. Because that's what people don't understand. It's seeking him. If you seek me, you shall find me. He didn't give you no uh, no kind of prerequisite before that. He just said, if you seek me, you will find me. No matter what religion you were in. That's right. If you seek me, you will find me. But when you find him, you must repent. Right. And clean up yourself and make your way straight. Man, come on. Go ahead, Ah. Hit him. Matthew, Yahoo, 10 and 11. Mm -hmm. And enter whatever city or town you shall enter. Inquire who in it is worthy. Mm. And they'll abide till they can move them. That's right. Mm -hmm. It was who were worthy to be accepted. Mm -hmm. But he went to the lost sheep of, uh, house of Yasharal, but they even some of those weren't worthy. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't beat your, your chest talking about you worthy because you Yasharal. You had to be deemed worthy in seeking. Watch this. When the, when the Pharisees came out and the Zadokim came out, he said, who told you to turn, you brood of snakes and vipers? Bring you, therefore, meat, uh, fruit, meat for repentance. Yeah. He rebuked them because he knew they wasn't worthy for repentance. Mm -hmm. He knew they wanted to remain wicked. Mm -hmm. So there is, there is a thing right now, whether you Islam, whether you Hindu, whether you Christian, no matter what your religion is right now, you have been seeking Yahushua, Yah who saves. You have been seeking the Savior. But in order to turn to him, you must have that broken and contrite heart. Mm -hmm. That's the heart he's looking for that he can begin to mold and do something to you. You get what I'm saying? He don't want puppets that can stand on their own. How are you going to put his hand into them? Wow. His right hand can't come into a puppet that's full of himself. But the right hand mm -hmm. wants to fill you so he can use you, not command you, not possess you, right. but be able to use you. Why? Because you have made your rule and your spirit, your being available to be used. Mm -hmm. See, this is where we at. You know what I'm saying? I know it sounds crazy. Y'all mm -hmm. gave me the puppet show thing, but that's why he do it. Why? Unless you come as a child. This is a child's understanding. That's why when they came and they sat on his lap, he said, don't hinder them. Let them come to me. Let them come. To, why? Because they knew who he was without rhetoric, without doctrine, without lies, without dogma. They knew he was the Mashiach. 
See, what is why we fall short and why we begin to fall away, we think we got so much doctrine and understanding, we don't want to hear nothing else. So I'll sit down with a person who say they believe, they don't believe you who is your shot. I'll sit down with a person who say they don't believe in the Mashiach. But once we talk and look at this book, you're going to have to believe something. You're going to have to believe something because watch this. Let's, let's go here. Let me see if I can find it. Got a little more book for you. Got a little more book. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Somebody said it made it clearer for him. Oh, man, Barack Yahweh, look at that. Told her, y'all, Adeem, told her. It made it clearer for him. Man, Barack Yahweh. Now, watch this, though. Let me look at, let's look at this right here. Let's look at uh, Shemot or Exodus 24. Look at this right here. <laughs> Man, I think I want to read uh, most of this, but man, oh, it's so much to carry. But it, let me go to 24 and 8, though, where he makes a covenant with y'all. But I want y'all to see this. This is Shamu. I'm, go, I'm going here before we go to the Bereh Hadashah, because I want you to see that he already existed in this form. He already existed to where he could already deal with man. But it was the Kadash that could look up on him. The Kadash that could interact with him. Everybody couldn't interact with him. That's why they had the fear, if we look up on him, we will die. Because he consumes crime. If you have crime in your life, he's consuming the crime. He's not trying to consume you, but he's all-powerful. That crime is going to be ate up because it's your enemy, not him. Boy, boy, boy. So let's look at this. And Masha took out the blood and sprinkled it on the people. And said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you concerning all these words is always about the dawn of the blood. Mm -hmm. Then went up Masha and Aharon and they dab and Abayahu and the 70 elders, all those who were chosen to be Kadash. Watch this. And they saw, they saw, they saw him <laughs> at the Elohim of Yasharal. And there was under his feet, he had feet, yeah. he had feet like a man. Because we are made in his image. <laughs> ah, you want to give us the Aubrey on image? You got it for us? Solomon. Solomon. See, we got Aubrey speakers in him. Uh -oh. <laughs> we were made in his image so he would have feet. They saw under his feet as it was paved work of a sapphire stone and as were the body of Shemayim in his clearness. So they saw him like the transfiguration in Matthew 17. They saw him transfigured in his fullness. Watch this. And upon the nobles of the children of Yasharal, he laid not his hand. Also, they saw Elohim and did eat and drink. They feasted, they feasted with him <laughs> like they did in the Barit Hadashah. Oh, they sat down and had, pagans, your Lord's Supper. You see that? They had Yahweh's supper. They ate his, they ate with him and they fellowship with him. That's what he's trying to get us back to, to believe in him good enough that we can sup with him. King James sup means eat dinner with him. But if you're not Kadush, right, if you ain't keeping the seven feasts, you can't do this. It's for you to be prepared for the wedding feast. These are his rehearsal parties for the marriage feast. We do that in our time. We have re ma uh, marriage rehearsals and wedding rehearsals. Why do you think y'all? Where do you think they getting this stuff from? He wants your garment to be right, man. And Yahweh said unto Masha, "Come up to me in the mount and be there, and I will give you the sapphire stone." He sat down and ate with them. Then they went to the mount. Now watch this. At the time of the Passover, watch this. It says they ate and drank with him. He said, "This is my body." This is my blood given unto you for the bereaved heart of child, a renewed covenant. And then it says, while they sung a hymn, they went up to the mount. What difference do you see? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. You, if you looking to find error, it's your error that's going to blind you from the truth. Right. You got to create error. There is no error in the Aubrey. That's why King James and all his minions mix all this up to make way it seem. And the truth is still there. Man, listen, let me say, and Yahweh said unto Masha, 
Come up to me on the mount and be there. And I will give you our sapphire stones and a Torah and commandments, which I have written that you may teach them. So it's not even Masha's Torah, really. We say the Torah of Masha, but it's really handwritten with the finger of the Most High himself, the right hand. The very hand that come to save us is the very hand that gave us the Torah to save us. Word made flesh. Now let's look at this. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'll get excited. I, I, I'll keep reading. Let me keep reading. <laughs> and Masha rose up and his minister, Yahusha. That's what we at. Y'all get coming. Yes, sir. Yeah. And Masha went up to the Mount of Allahim. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us. Wait here for us. Until we come again to you. That's the same thing he did in 17, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, ain't that something? Appreciate that. And behold, Aharon and Horai is are with you. And if any man have any matters to do, let them come to them. And Masha went up to the mount, and a cloud covered out the mount. And the esteem of Yahweh abode on Mount Sani. And the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called to Masha out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the esteem of Yahweh was like devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Yasharal. And Masha went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Masha was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. Man, come on. It's the same thing. Did he not tell most of the 12 this wait and stay there while three went up to the mount with him? It's the same thing. So watch this. Let me show you something. Let's go to Yeshayahu 42 real quick. I'm just going to punch it real quick. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into what, where I'm trying to go. 42. Isaiah 42. And we're going to start at 8. They can read the whole 42 if you want to. But we're going to start at 8. I want you to see something. <coughs> 42 and 8. I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my esteem. My honor Will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images? So people think that just because it's a great, it's a man, is a man a graven image? By context of the book, no. is any man a graven image? No. Now the image of Caesar Borgia, uh, Cesare they call him, Borgia, the white image that you see, that would be considered a graven image because it's a picture. Or, or it's a carving or a statue like it is in Rio de Janeiro. But is a man of flesh a graven image? No. So you got people twisting scriptures. He said he would not give his esteem to any graven image. Right. But if he fills the vessel, he takes the esteem. So I can't have my JCPs? No, you can't have your JCPs. I, yeah, I throw that in trash can. <laughs> 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 so watch this. Watch this what he says. Behold. The former things are come to pass, and new things I declare. Wait, Yahushua said them very words. All old things are passed away, and behold, I make all things new. He's speaking his same word. Mm. How do you reject what he's saying when he's saying the exact same thing? You leave Christianity with this hurt on you and this hatred for even the truth, because all truth and honesty, a lot of brews come over here just to prove wrong people who were telling them to live right. Yeah. 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 Just to say, hi, see, you ain't right either. They don't come over here to be Kadash. Mm -hmm. They come over here to be just, just as wicked or more, twofold a child of the pit than they were in the first place. Mm -hmm. So watch this. Here we go. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And new things I declare. Something new is going to happen. Before they spring forth, I will tell you. Sing unto Yahweh a new song. Remember Masha and them. Shamu Exodus 15. They sung a song. Now sing a new song. Man, bro. This is so too. And his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that are in the isles and the inhabitants thereof, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voices and the villages that Kadar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let the shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give esteem to Yahweh and declare his praise in the islands. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. How clear is that? I don't even, I don't even need no Albert for that one. 
He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Didn't we not hear that he was a man of war already? Yeah. Yahushua said, think not that I come to bring peace on earth, but a sword. Same stuff. Uh, man, I'm, 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 I'm going to jump, though. I'm going to jump. Let me go to 45. Let's go to 45. I'm sorry, man. Before you go to um, 42, can, mm -hmm. you read, can you read this real quick? Um, can you read 21? Because you know that we were just talking about the new thing, right? Right. And But just to show that the new thing is not what they have told us it is, can you read verse 21 real quick? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yes, Yahoo 42, verse 21. Before we move on, <laughs> Torah. Uh. Oh, Torah. I read it last time. I shouldn't. I, yeah, that's a good one. Yahuwah is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the Torah and make it honorable. <laughs> his messenger, his servant. So, Yahushua magnified the Torah and made it honorable. Think not that I come to do away with the Torah. I have not come to do away with it, but to fulfill it. It's the same thing going on. Now watch this. Turn to Yeshayahu 45. I want y'all to see this. I want, I want to go, man, this so much. But I'm, I'm jumping, but read these whole things for yourself. But for the sake of time, I'm, I'm jumping through. 45 and 20. Yeshayahu 45. Isaiah 45 and 20. Listen to this now. <laughs> Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that place up or set up at the wood of their graven image. And pray unto an all that cannot save. Man, he saw that cross too with that JC on it. He sees all things. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together who has declared this who has declared this yeah. from ancient times? Who has told you from the ancient times this is what happened? Yeah. Boy, who has told it from that time? Yeah. Have I not, Yahuwah? Yeah. Man, bro, there is no Elohim else beside me, a just, a just all yeah. and a savior. Mm -hmm. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be saved, Whoa. all the ends of the earth, yeah. for I am all and there is none else. Watch this, now. watch this, we ain't finished. Mm -hmm. I have sworn by myself. And the word is gone out of my mouth yeah. in righteousness. Yeah. What is the word made flesh? <laughs> it has came out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. Boy, boy, boy. That unto me every knee shall bow. Uh oh. And every tongue shall swear. Write that down, highlight it. We finna go to the New Testament now. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess is what that is. Mm -hmm. Shall swear. Surely one shall say in Yahweh, I have righteousness and strength. Even him shall men come. All that are increased against him shall be ashamed in Yahweh. Shall all the seed of Yasharal be made righteous and shall honor. That's incense, though. Huh? Incense? Oh, Torah. <laughs> have incensed against him, Torah. But watch this. Let's go to <laughs> let's go to Romans 14, 11 first. Now we're in the Brit Hot Asha. I did all that to get you here. <clears throat> now we're in the Brit Hot Asha. You heard what he said. He's seen this from ancient times. Mm -hmm. Even the mighty making the mighty ones of the wooden stone. Even if you have a black Yeshia. Did you say Romans 14? Oh, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Romans 14, 11. That's crazy. You, you've been all in books that I've been reading today. Wow. That's crazy. Man, but right, y'all, this rule, man, this rule. So, man, listen to this. He knew all this from ancient times. So even if you have a Yeshia, you get what I'm saying? And he's black. Or Yahawashai. Even if you have all that and got images, those are mighty ones that's against Yahuwah. Yahuwah is who he is. He's Yahusha. Yahu breathes life is Yah that saved you. Watch this. 1411. Look at this. For it is written. They ain't adding to this book. They are quoting what is written. For it is written. As I live says Yahweh. Every knee shall bow to me. And every tongue shall confess to Yahweh. Where's the adding to? The only adding I see is added in King James. That says G-O-D. He's quoting Yeshua. Man let's look at this. 
So then every one of us shall give account of himself to Yahweh. So that I'm going to read 1411 again. For it is written, as I live, says Yahweh, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess. That's every tongue swear all day. Right. No matter how you translate it, it's the same. Watch this. <laughs> Philippians 2.10. This is my favorite because I'm going to give you the Albert on this one. Philippians 2 and 10. We're killing that. Yahuwah is Yahusha. You cannot have two. You can't say, I believe in the Mashiach, the Son, and then I believe in the Father. You can't believe in them like that. It's one because only one grants you access into the kingdom. The Father, he does what he wills. He is the right hand. The Son that they say, bond only means like to offspring. If my hand came off the throne, it offspring from me. It sprung off of me. No man comes to the Father but by me. His hand is stretched out to pull you to him. Watch this. Philippians 2 and 10. <laughs> I love this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. More than so much. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Let's go two and one. I'm sorry, man. This is good stuff. If there, <laughs> this is, this is Apostle Shaul, man. This gets inside. I'm sorry. Because these people who denounce what he's saying and say he lying, they can't understand that he understood Torah more than they did. Yeah. Yeah. He was Torah only. There was no Brit out of shop. All right. <laughs> if there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, <laughs> Shalom Akoti. <laughs> she put boy, boy, boy. <laughs> if there be uh, therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the rule, if any bowels and mercies fulfill ye with my joy, that you be like-minded, one mind. We all should be thinking the same thing. Right. Having the same love. Yeah. So not only are we should be thinking the same, but loving the same. Mm -hmm. Man, come on, we finna talk about this thing. Torah. Being of one accord. All oh, this is Torah. I sing it over there when you do it. <laughs> Being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife. Or vain glory. Nothing be strong done from strife or vain esteem. Nothing. Man. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other another better than himself. Or better than himself. Why? Because that's what Yahuwah did. He came here lower than the Malachim. He lowered himself and served them all. While they were arguing over who was the greatest, he girded himself and he washed their feet. Huh? He, Shaul is only teaching what he knew and who he knew. Same as they knew. This is nothing crazy. Watch this. <laughs> Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Man, this is a good book right here. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahusha Hamashiach, who's being in the form of Yah. What? Who being in the form of Yah. Who being in the form of Yah. Thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahuwah. <laughs> Boy, but made himself of no reputation. And took on the form of a servant. When he washed their feet, he said, I'm serving you all. And gave my life as a ransom for many. Many, not all. Those who believe on him. Come on now. And was made in the likeness of men. Being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself. And being obedient unto death, even the death of the arts or tree. Wherefore, Yahweh also has highly exalted him. Why? Because he said, I will swear by no greater. If I humble myself, I'm exalt myself. Boy, boy, boy. And giving him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow of the things in the Shemayim, and the things in the earth, and the things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess or swear that Yahuwah is Yahusha Hamashiach. Your Bible pagan says Jesus Christ is Lord. Throw that boy out the window. Let me tell you why. Yahuwah is Yahusha Hamashiach. 
That's why the name Yahusha is exalted because it means Yahweh is my salvation. And every tongue shall swear that, that the Lord is Jesus Christ. That's not what it was saying. The English tongue has, has, has put their mighty ones in our book, just like it says in Maccabees. So what it means is Yahuwah is Yahusha Hamashiach to the esteem of Yahuwah the Father. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it just made me think about when you said servant. Torah, it says if you kill a person's servant, like you kill a person's servant, you will pay that person 30 pieces of silver. Right. And then what was the price that Yahushua was sold? 30 pieces of silver. It's the servanthood. But even understanding this, look at what he says right there. I'm going to say that one more time. He humbled himself. He was made in the form of Yah. We read that. And equal to Yah, but he humbled himself. What does that mean? He came into the puppet. He came into a body. He formed it in the womb. He needed that body. That's why he took of a virgin. Because he could not have this body tainted with the very men he was trying to save. That's why it calls him the second Adam. Adam one formed of a virgin. Adama. It means female, feminine version of the earth. She was a virgin. There was no crime at the time. So Adam was formed in the image of Yahweh. He said, it says in Luke, who was the son of Yah. So he came through the womb, took on a form of a man. Even as a child, we see that. Because at 12, he says, do you not know I must be about my father's business? He had work to do, but he subjected himself and then grew in obedience. Why? He has, because he's all-knowing and all-powerful and can do everything, I have to make myself learn too. That's why he told them that. Don't you, don't you realize that anytime I can call down <coughs> I, I can legions, legions of angels to come help him. But why he had that power? Only one has the power over Malachim, Psalm 91. If I cast myself down, Malachim angels will take me up lest I dash my feet on the stone. That's why Hashatan used that at him because he knew he had the power to call angels. Only Yahweh has that power. Man, let's read this again. And now I'm going to clear it out. He highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. You cannot call him JC. You better sit down with that foolishness. You can't call him that. You cannot translate a name. Names do not translate. I was talking to them at work about that. It was a, it was a Goyim man, a Goyim LeBun, a white man. He came to me and he said, man, I've been looking at the Sefer. And so I gave him the Sefer. He said, I've been looking at what you've been talking about. And he said, I know this because I used to teach English. He says, I don't know Middle English because Middle English, boy, if y'all hear that, you heard that lady, uh, that lady in the bookstore, it's way different from English. He said, but German, he said, German and Middle English are hybrids. I said, so that means his name could never be JC, right? He said, no, it couldn't. He said, you can't take these hybrid words and make up a name. The name has to be, whether it's Greek, whether Japanese call on him, Seoul Korea calls on him, they have to call on Yahuwah. They have to call on Yahusha because that's the name that's above every name. This is really my school. She's from Mexico. She moved here in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody always asks her, ask her stuff, say stuff in Spanish. And they always, somebody, at least one person, always asks her how to say a name. She's always like, names don't translate. You can't tra change somebody's name. See there? They know this funny. They know this understanding because your name is truly the essence of you. What your, what your parents gave you and the name they gave you is pretty much your identity. So if this name is above every name, why would you translate and change this one? Um, grew up in California. Go ahead, huh? Been around Mexicans all, uh, all my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, Asked a Mexican lady how you say my name in, um, in Spanish, Andre. But she said Andres. Mm -hmm. Still Andre. Right. I went to Japan. I had to go to Japan in 2005. Asked um, the um, one of the, one of my Japanese coworkers, who was actually our tour guide, how do I say how do you say um, how do you say my name in Japanese? Andre. See, so that's your name. Why your name ain't Wing Long <laughs> Now, now Christians believe that. Mm -hmm. They just don't believe on the true name. Because right. Everywhere around the world, they take Christianity. They take the name JC. Come on, Art. Mm -hmm. Now, when they go to proselytize, when they go to convert, they take that name. They don't make an African name out of that. 
They burning up our people. So they're hypocrites. They're, they're hypocrites. hypocrites. Come on now. See there? See there? They believe in the name above all names. They Come on. They believe in the true name. Because Come on. Everywhere around the world, they take Christianity, they take that name. See there? So they're hypocrites. So now let's go. Let's look at this, man. This is testimonies right here. These are dogs. Look at this. Giving him a name which is above every name. Why? Why is Yahusha above every name? It means Yah is salvation. I read you 42 and 8. I alone am Savior. And beside me, there is no Savior. Now watch this, man. Let's go right here. Let's go. I'm going to finish reading this. That at the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow of things of Shemaim. So that name was established in the Shemaim before it got to earth. Because if he, watch this, if it's a new name, they would cast him out like they did Hashatan. <laughs> you exalting yourself above the most high. You are just like the one we went to war against. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And like we were just discussing, and um, when they, um, uh, JC is the same in Spanish, but it's, uh, it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And like we just, it's no J. There is no J. Right. No right, <coughs> right. We seen a guy. We seen a woman on TV. Uh, I watched Jeopardy. A nerd. Uh, it, her name was Yessa, but it was J E S S A. But her last name was Yessa. Or, it was Yas. Yas. Thank you, Tota. It was Yas. It was J A S S. Tota. It was Yas. You see that? Because there's no like when you see a person over there with a J on their name, he don't say his name is Johan. It's Johan. Because they know that J has no substance to it. So why would you make this name no substance? You know why? Demons tremble at the true name. Mm -hmm. They come subject to the true name. So what do we have to do to man? Give him a false name. Aha. Uh -huh. Give him a name with no power. Exactly. If I give you a name with no power, that's why you got Catholic priests with crosses. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ. Can... And it's spitting vomit and everything. Head twisting, crawling, while the power of Christ. Why you ain't got no power then? Why well, I didn't come out yet. Well, I just got to do there is nowhere in this book where you see demons convulsing and vomiting. No, now, it is. does say when it tore the body, they shrieked and left. Yeah. It don't say they cursed him. It don't say they did nothing. They obeyed. Because even Shadim, even the demons are subject to a name of power. They even said, Yahushua, I know. Paul, I know, but who are you? And tore their clothes off. Seven brothers. They ripped them naked, and the word of Yahweh increased in the city, and they burnt their sorcery books. Mm -hmm. Man, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, whenever I tell somebody, <coughs> say, "Oh, that's a translation." I always stick this one video up there, and it's a video where a person in the news in Japan is giving a whole um, speech, and he's talking about Michael Jackson. I don't know what they're saying. They say, blah, 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 Michael Jackson. Come on. So right. they speaking in Japanese, and then the only thing you understand in that whole video is Michael Jackson. Why? Come on. Because his name does not translate. People's names, like you said, don't translate. So if his name, yeah. if a person's name, Michael Jackson, and you sit up here, call him the king of pop name, don't change. Why would you change the king, Come the on. king name Come on. for real? Because like you said, that name has power. Because that name is a branding too. People, when they brand their name, that name means that you can't just use that name. That's a branding on the name. So like you're saying, if that name means something on earth, why not the greatest name of all, exactly. y'all? Man, teach. So let's let's go through this. Under Shemayim, things in the earth, things under the earth. At that, every, and, and that every knee should tongue should confess. That Yahuwah is Yahusha HaMashiach to the esteem of Yahuwah the Father. Now watch this. Watch this. Let's go to Isaiah. Yes, Yahoo 54. I'm sorry. I'll be excited. I'll be reading kind of crazy. Probably, let me see. Here we go. Oh, man, this stuff is good stuff. Let's go. Let's look at this. Uh, go to Yeshua Yahoo in 54. We're going to kill it right here. We finna kill all this. And then we done. It has been dead, ain't it? We kicking a dead horse. Look at that, a sus. <laughs> Man, it's still coming up. <laughs> Look at this. <clears throat> Watch this. Sit 54 and 1. <clears throat> Sing, O barren. <clears throat> Sing, O barren, that you did not bear. 
Break forth in, into singing. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. You that did not travail with trial. For more are the children of desolate than the children of the, mar of the married woman, says Yahweh. Enlarge your place of your tent and let them, let, the strength, let them stretch forth their curtains of your habitation. Spare not, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you shall break forth on the right hand and on the left. And your seed shall make... She shall inherit the other people, the goyim, mm -hmm. and make desolate the city's inhabitant. Watch this. <laughs> Fear not, for you shall not be ashamed, neither be confounded, for you shall not be put to shame. For you shall forget the shame of your youth and shall not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For your maker is your husband. Mm -hmm. Yahuwah Sabaoth. Of armies is his name. And your redeemer, the Kadash one of Yasharal, the Allahim of the whole earth, shall he be called. Man, Yahoo, for Yahuwah has called you as a woman forsaken and grieved in her rule. And a woman of her youth. When you were refused, says your Allahim, for a small moment I have forsaken you. But with great mercies will I gather you. One husband. One husband. We still going. <laughs> I'm excited, man. And a little wrath, I hid my face for you. A moment with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on you, says Yahweh, your Redeemer. Yahusha. That's what that means, Yahweh, your Redeemer. Watch this. For this is as the waters of Noah to me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more come over the earth, so I have sworn that I would not be wroth or angry with you, nor rebuke you. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you. Neither shall the covenant. Berit Hadashah is a renewed covenant. Same covenant, just renewed, not new. Of my shalom or my peace be removed, said Yahweh, who has mercy on you. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. Look at this, boy. Look at this. So he, he's saying you were out filthy. You was laying out there. But I ain't forget you. I'm your husband. Oh, man. In a widowhood. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11, please. Let's look at this real quick. <laughs> Man, Barak Yahweh. Let's go to 11 and 1. I pray that you could bear with me a little in my folly. I am indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with a righteous jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband or one man. That I may present you as chaste virgins to Hamashiach. Or as a chaste virgin. Now, wait a second. Yahuwah said he's your husband. So he's saying with the Kadash jealousy, I have, man, I have a righteous jealousy for I have espoused you. Shaul is saying, I done married you back to the man. <laughs> well, what a Hammond B3 organ in so I can run up hey, out of here. I, sure I have married you back to the man. What man? Yahuwah. <laughs> That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Mashiach, but I fear lest by any means the serpent beguiled Hawa, Adam's wife, through his subtlety, so that your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. What simplicity? Obey the commandments. Follow the Torah of Yahweh in Mashiach. For if any that comes, for if he that comes preaches another Yahusha, if that second guy sitting there with a throne scooted up right beside King Yahweh, that's another Yahusha. He ain't supposed to be there. Whom we have not preached, or you will receive another rule which have not been received, or another basor, another good news which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. <laughs> for I suppose that I was not whipped behind the very, that I suppose I was not whipped behind the very chiefest apostles. So he's teaching you about this espousal. Watch this right here. Hold on one second. You second. got to hit it out. You got to hit the name because see, they, they use this, this, this next scripture. Well, the next scripture? Yeah, they use 
I, I, I do it for a jump. I do it for a jump. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, for we have made truly made manifest among you in all things. And they say they can cuss. Right, the rude in speech, yeah. they can cuss. Yeah. That's folly. Because what he's saying is, he's dumbing down his speech to reach right. them. Right. Right. Matter of fact, I heard a preacher say, there's a scripture in there, he says, if, if Mashiach is believed uh, in my lie, what he's saying is, if you think I'm lying, then it's worth, the, it's worth believing. But they saying you can lie to people. I heard all this foolishness, man. Man. So have I committed an offense by abasing myself? See, that's what he's saying. He's going low to break it down to you that he might be exalted like the puppet show. <laughs> Taking wages of them to do you service. When I, oh, wait, I skipped it. I'm sorry. Have I committed my, an offense by abasing myself that you, might be, that you might be exalted because I have preached to you the basura of Yahuwah freely? Man, I robbed the other. Let me finish this one right here. Because I robbed the other called out assemblies by taking wages of them. He felt like he was robbing them. Man, bro. To do you service. Why? Because they was funding him to preach the basura. Right, but he was, he was explaining that he wasn't even taking it for himself. Right, he, he wasn't was taking it for himself. Help out the assemblies, the exactly. Assemblies that need help. Exactly, but I don't, I don't want to go off too strong because that's a whole nother teaching. We're gonna go back on lie to tie real soon. I'm gonna show you something. Watch this. <laughs> um, yes, Yahoo 40 and 3. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way of Yahweh, make straight in the desert a highway for our Allahim. We've already talked about that. Yahuhanan, Mark 1 and 4. And so, Yahuhanan the Immersa appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for forgiveness of crimes. Isaiah, Yeshayahu 43 and 10, you are my witnesses, declares Yahweh, and my servant who I am chosen, so you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. For me, no all was formed, and there will be no one after me. That's Yeshayahu 40 and 3, but I want to show you this. Yahu Hanan, and now I'm, I'm out the way. Yahu Hanan or John 14. There's so many scriptures that prove you who is Yahusha. But let me read this one. Because this one right here to me is clean and clear cut. You can see it. 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Yah? Believe also in me. How, how, how can he say that? If he's not yours. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there ye may be also. And where I go, and where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Taum, who they call Thomas, Taum said to him, I do not. We know not where you go. And how can we know the way? Yahusha said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. Because he is your life and your length of days. Come on, that's Torah, ain't it? Watch this. And from henceforth you shall know him and have seen him. Watch this. Philip said unto him, Adonai, show us the Father. It is necessary for us or it suffices us. Yahushua said unto him, have I been with you so long a time, and yet you have not known me, Philip? I mean, it just don't get too much clearer than that. Let me tell you something. If anybody arguing against this, they just don't. They just don't want to believe it, and they they just don't have no leadership in the rule. It's clear. He said, "Show us the Father." He said, "I've been with you so long, you still don't know me." Watch this. <laughs> wow. Man, he that has seen me. Has seen the Father. How and how say you then? Show us the Father. In layman's terms, let's do it like this. Philip's like, show us the Father. I'm sitting right here in front of you. Ta-da! <laughs> if you see me, you see the Father. And come on, yes, ma'am. What I was gonna say is this: the simplest. Though if they don't, if people don't believe in the Mashiach, 
then they're still lost. Mm -hmm. There's no recovery. There's nothing because right. they are still they still remain divorced because he told them that he divorced us. So if he divorced us, then there's no Mashiach, and if he's not right. the same, then we still are lost. Come. So we are sitting here living this Torah, doing doing this in vain. Right. It's, it's, it's for not, all for naught because there's no way that we can be redeemed or go back to him or be saved by him. Mm -hmm. Because he was it and his words, his Torah, and he doesn't go against his Torah. Mm -hmm. He says that we went a whoring. Right. And the truth is that all of us have at some point mm -hmm. went a whoring after other after other um Allahim. Mm -hmm. And if we went a whoring after Allahim, other Allahim and he divorced us, then that means that we can't come back to him because there because the Mashiach didn't bring us right. back to the covenant. So if they don't believe on where they am? Come on now. Uh, what, what a sacrifice. Right. What are you what are you, what are you got what are you offering as a sacrifice if you don't believe in the Mashiach? You had to believe in that. But they'll but they'll go to uh where he said that um I had not required I had not asked you or required this of you, um, um they'll, they'll, go, yeah, they'll, they'll go to yeah. Yeah, they'll go to Yeah, but watch this, they still were offering it. That's right. <laughs> Even though that was said, remember Daoud was a prophet seeing the future. Exactly. So here we go. Watch this. Let me finish. Let me finish this and close this out. Believe you not. Believe you not that N is not supposed to be in there. Believe you not that I am the Father, and the Father, I am is what it actually is. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me. Give me that get a sock right, one more time. One more time. Why, why you doing that? You know, close you it out with a sock. You explain to them. <laughs> So nobody thinks that you're just saying, oh, just take the word out of the <coughs> Explain to them how you come to that. How yeah, I looked in the obrit. Right. And and the word in was not in there, right. in the obrit. Matter of fact, it says, um, uh, dang, I had that teaching. If you go back to our future te uh, 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 teachings before and our past teachings, you will see that it actually says, I am written in the Father. So it's not I am in the Father. It was actually I am written in the Father, meaning the Father already wrote that I was going to be him. So the Aubrey is so awesome. I'll try to find that and I'll, and I'll put it on this, uh, this teaching so you can see it. But watch this. He says, uh, believe you not that I'm written in the Father and the Father written in me. That's actually what it was. Barat Yahweh for his rule. And it says, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me. Simple as this. It's the Father that dwell in him. So he is spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and truth. But in the order to reach a rebellious people, I'm going to come and dwell a body. And those who believe on me, I'm going to be the final sacrifice for them. I'm going to be the once and for all one hitter quitter that anybody that believes on me after that shall be saved. They say they don't believe in human sacrifice. You're lying because I can show you Judges 11. We finna look at that real quick. And then I'm done. It says, believes in me. And the works that I do, he do also. And greater works uh, than these shall he do. Because I go to the Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that I will do. That the Father may be esteemed in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, guard my commandments. Do y'all hear this? Let, let's move on. Let me kill this real quick. And I ain't going to take up no more time. There's so much to this. I, we could go all year on this. But there's so much to address. I don't want to prolong the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to sound like a preacher. Right. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Uh, let's look at Shopa, <laughs> Shopa Team or Judges. Let me find it. Give me a second. Shopa Team or Judges. Let me, let me find it. I, I don't want to see. Oh, you got the king. Well, you got the king. I get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Let me find it. Give me one second. My, my little book tabs be, be knocked down. I'm looking for it. For sure. Let's see if I find the judges real quick. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to that real quick. Let me find it right quick. 29 starting at maybe? No, I'm looking. Wait. I'm looking for it. I'm looking on my, my tabs. Oh, the page number is yeah. 505 maybe. Let me see. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. My book, my book be, my tab be flipping down. I can't find it. Here we go. Here we go. Total. Anyway, total. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Dude, funny. Now, watch this. Now, listen to this. Now, you have Hebrews that say 
that Yahuwah does not accept human sacrifice. We heard that, right? Mm -hmm. How many people have heard Yahuwah does not accept human sacrifice? I have. Because they're not reading. Let me show you something. I'm going to read this real quick. And so if he would accept this sacrifice, surely he could make himself a man and die for the people. Here we go. Now, Yiptat the Galidi was a mighty man of valor. He was the son of a harlot. This is uh, Judges, a show team 11 and 1. Huh? Okay. Well, read 11 and read 11. I, my my shot said, you going to read all that? But I wanted you to understand. I ain't just making up something. Okay. Let, let's, let's go right here. Let's go right here. Where we going to start at? Let me, let me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go to it. Because they want me to skip. Man, yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is about a war, and he 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 is asking Yahuwah to give him victory in a war. So I'm gonna start at 29. I'm gonna start at 29 for the sake of those, uh, you know, <laughs> old people who hate the Torah. Don't be like that. <laughs> uh, <coughs> let's go 29. Then the Ru Yahuwah, what came up on him? The Ru Yahuwah came up on Yipta and passed as he and he passed over Gilead. And Manasseh, and passed over Mitzpah, and Gilead, and Mitzpah of Gilead, he passed over unto the children of Ammon. And Yiptah vowed a vow mm. unto Yahuwah. Uh-oh, we can't take that back. And said, if you shall without fail deliver out the children of Ammon into my hand. So the Ruach provoked this vow. Then shall it be that whatsoever come forth out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace, from the children of Ammon, I shall surely, shall surely be Yahuwah's, Yahuwah's. And I will offer it up for a burnt offering. Father, into your hand, I commend my spirit. Mm -hmm. Offered up. So Yipta passed up over the children of Ammon to fight against them. And Yahuwah delivered them out into his hands. And he smote them from Aor, even till you come to a minute even 20 cities unto Abal Karmaim and a very great slaughter and with a very great slaughter. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Yasharal. And Yipta came to Mizpah to his house and behold his daughter came out to meet him. Now our daughter is human. There we go. Came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances and she was his Yahid, his only begotten. Boy, boy, boy. She was his Yahidah, Khan. And her, he had neither son, beside her, he had neither son nor daughter. And it came to pass when he saw her that he tore, he rent out his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, you have brought me very low and I, you are one of them that trouble me. For I have opened my mouth unto all Yahuwah, and I cannot go back. And she said unto him, My father, if you have opened out your mouth unto all Yahuwah, do to me according to that which you have, which has proceeded out of your mouth. For as much as Yahuwah has taken vengeance for you and your enemies, even the children of Ammon. Now watch this. It says that the, the word of righteousness came out of Yahuwah's mouth, and he cannot return it. How much so... His word, then he tell a man to do so. This book. And she said unto her father, let this thing be done for me. Now, why didn't she just run away and say, this ain't Torah? I was going to say, she a real man. She a real man. Man, bro. She, she Watch hey, this. Guys, he he trained up. Yeah. yeah she could have said, this ain't Torah. You crazy. And, and, so, and what's also crazy is that he didn't even say what well, he, he did. did yeah. She knew. See? Right. Because she, because she knew. She See that? Because you know why? There was all rule orchestrated. The Ruach orchestrated this. So the way he gave the vow, the Ruach had already dealt with her and her Ruach to be the sacrifice. Watch this. Wow. Watch this. And this is obedience right here. Mm -hmm. She said unto her father, let this thing be done for me. Let me alone two months that I may go up and down the mountains and bewail my virginity. Not twerk in every house and party. YOLO. <laughs> this kadoshness. Mm -hmm. Bewail my virginity. I and my fellows. And he said, Go. And he sent her away for two months. And she went with her companions and bewailed her virginity upon the mountains. And it came to pass at the end of her two months that she returned to her father. 
who did with her according to Ot the vow which he had vowed. And she knew no man. So Just like Yahushua, mm -hmm. he knew no woman. He knew no crime. And it was the and it was a custom in Yasharal that the daughters of Yasharal went yearly to lament the daughter of Yiptah, the Gilead, four days in a year. She gave of herself in right. He trusted his daughter enough to even come back and be the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. yep. Look at the righteousness of both of them. Now, this is for the bruise who say that there's no human sacrifice. This is for the bruise who say that Yahuwah hates human sacrifice and forbids it. He hates human sacrifice when it's in wickedness. Yeah. <laughs> right. But in righteousness, he honored this. Why? Because he was going to honor Abraham doing it to Yatsak. But he did not want him to do it. He only wanted to see if he would do it. So because of this, how moved would he be to give himself for his people? So, just as they did. So that wasn't a temptation. That was a trying. Right. Yeah, it was a trying. Exactly. It was a testing. So it was moved up on this man to do this for his only begotten daughter. Mm -hmm. And so you lie and say that it's nowhere in the book. They don't know the book. So, in understanding Yahuwah is Yahusha, I wanted to kill that, that human sacrifice lie. In understanding that Yahuwah is Yahusha, he has honored us by, by being the sacrifice that we needed. He has taken on the form of crime-filled man and walked among us because of his love for us. And it is his rule that brings us into this. Because watch this. Watch this. If he called us out of Christianity and we went into a lie, we should be Buddhists. We should be Zoroastrians. We should be in Kabbalah. We should be in Kemet. We should be in everything. If this rule ain't called us to this truth, how did he remove us from something that said they got this book and bring us back to the book with understanding? Right. Come on, man. That's, that's miraculous. That's miraculous. The very book that he, he saved us from, Christianity, he brought us back to it to give us greater understanding of it. Because those that do not have the Ruah go away from the book. Come on. And can't return. Come on. Come on. They so you are under you are seeing full facade to believe that Yahuwah is Yahusha. He's got rid of the Trinity. He's got rid of all the Christian lies. He's got rid of everything. Guess what? Except for him. And obey my commandments. Wow. If you have repented and you have received my blood and my sacrifice. That I gave freely. You didn't even have to pay for it. I bought you back with my own blood. And no man took my life. I lay down my life. Come they on. say, how can he die? If he lay down his own life, it was only for a short time. And he rose up in full power. With all power in his hand. He not only esteemed himself in the Shemayim, but esteemed himself on earth as a man. He can do all things for you, with Yah. All things are possible. That's what he told Miriam. So, this is your Shah Hasab and Yasharal. You want to pray us out? Go ahead and hit us. Abba Yahweh. In Master Yahushua's name, we come to you and tell our Kola Abba for the Gadal word that you have allowed us to uh, take in, for the meat that you have given us. Kola Abba, for your long suffering, for allowing us to come into your truth and walk in um, Kaldina, all understanding. Total for raising us up. Total for your patience. Total for your your Yahusha. Total for yourself. Total for yeah. being one. Total for allowing us to, to become as you. And for the Mashpaka having a chance to become one and walk as you did. Total Abba for your, your Hassan and your faithful. Total for the fellowship and this <coughs> Adal Chaba Union. And in Master Yahusha's name we belong. Amen. Amen. Shout out to the 12 tribes of Yasharal. The scattered abroad and the Goyim converts is grafted in onto us. Follow the commandments and live. Shalom. And live. And live. Barak Yahweh.